I'm playing out of the BB King box, but I'm really carefully trying to follow the chords. You should be able to hear those chords going by as I'm playing, right? You should kind of hear them in the back of your mind. I can do anyway. Um, so what I'm doing is the notes that I'm playing is the ninth fret on the G string, the eighth fret on the B string, and the tenth fret on the B string. You can kind of think I'm only playing three notes over the whole thing. That's not quite true because with the bends, there's extra notes in there. But really, I'm only playing those fretted notes. So let's think about the chords underneath this. So this is in G. So we've got the G7 chord, which is a one chord, the C7 chord, which is a four chord, and the D7 chord, which is your five chord. So over the one chord, what I'm doing is this. So I'm bending up to this note, this B note. The reason I'm bending to this B note is because B is the third note in the G major scale. So that is in this chord here, look, with the B note there, yeah? So I'm playing the notes out of the chord. So first I'm going, which is kind of the little motif, uh, that's your framework, the little template, the whole thing is, is hung around that. And then you've got this extra note in. And I'm back to the G again. So here I've outlined the G chord. These notes here, this E note here and this G note here. Obviously the G note is the, the first note in the G major scale. The E is the sixth note in the G major scale. So this adds a little bit of spice, if you like. A little bit of paprika on your curry. Now over the next chord, the four chord, C7, I'm doing this. So I'm now bending a semitone to this note, B flat. Why? Maybe pause the video and see if you can figure it out. I'm doing it because in the C7 chord, this note here, this B flat note, is in the C7 chord. It's the flat seventh of the C7 chord. All right, so I'm outlining that. Everything else is staying the same. Then over the D7 chord, I'm going, not doing anything. Bit of vibrato. Why? This is an A note. An A note is the fifth note in the D major scale. So I'm outlining that. Um, just to go back to the C7, let's talk about these notes over the C7. So that E over the C7 is the major third, and the G is the, the fifth note in the C major scale. So you can see that that fits really well over the C7. Over the D7, this bit, okay? This E is the second note in the D major scale. This note, this G, is the fourth note in the D major scale, okay? So these two are both a little bit spicy, but having them a little bit spicy over the, the five chord is quite a good place to have them. That's where you tend to want your spicy notes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the whole thing and I'm gonna talk through it at the same time um, to explain where we are. So we're starting off on the one chord and I'll refer to it as the one chord, the four chord and the five chord. So here we go. So starting off with the one chord. Four chord. One chord. Five chord. Four chord. One chord. All right. So you should be able to hear those chords in the background in your head. It's really important to outline them because if you don't outline them, you're kind of playing just random notes that you're hoping that will fit with the chords, right? And a lot of people do this. Now, sometimes they get away with it because the pentatonic scale is quite forgiving like that, all right? But it's much better to try and follow the chords. It's a lot more of a musical thing to do. So you need to do, this is where you need to do thinking. It's not about playing quickly. It's not about knowing shapes or patterns. It's about knowing how the notes fit with the chords that you're playing over the top of. Now to do that, you've got to think about it, all right? And that, that is really important. Jaco Pastorius once said, I, at least I think it was Jaco Pastorius once said, um, don't play fast, think fast, yeah? And that's very true, especially with jazz playing. But with blues playing, you can kind of do the thinking before a little bit more, because it's not as complex. And think about how am I gonna outline the chord tones in what I'm playing. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, hope that helps you playing. Remember, it's just another tool in your toolbox. 
you can mix it up with your other sort of playing that you do across a, across a major blues. Uh, if you've got any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. Always happy for comments. Uh, any other ideas or things you want me to cover, please just let me know. And please remember to subscribe.